Hi, you know. So it's got to that time of year again where you are all getting to choose your option subjects for next year. And I'm just going to talk you through very briefly the Art GCSE and the Photography GCSE options. So first of all, the Art GCSE is um, av available and suitable for those of you that are creatively minded, that love painting and drawing and making things, and who generally like being quite creative in what you do. Now, you'll be encouraged to be experimental, to work from observation and imagination, and to develop your ideas from starting points right through to the um, creation of a final outcome. You're gonna be taught how to experiment, how to use new materials, how to work in probably different ways that you hadn't uh, yet thought of. And a lot of the specialisms that we touch on throughout the two years are things like painting and drawing, like I said, three dimensional work, some clay work, textiles -y, um, work in a very creative arty kind of way, um, and a little bit of digital work as well along the way. Now, the layout of the courses um, that you will do 60% coursework. That's a coursework portfolio, which is completed over four terms three of the year 10 terms and um, one in year 11. And then in year 11, just after Christmas, you get given your exam paper where you have something like between 15 and 16 different starting points. And you just choose one of them and you use that as a springboard to explore and develop your own ideas. You work this through by looking at different artist work, working from observation and imagination, and then you develop your own idea through to a final outcome. And it's that final outcome that you do in the exam time. Now, everybody knows that the exam is spread out over 10 hours, that's two days worth. And we do break it up. We do actually give you some breaks in the middle of that as well. Um, so the, the coursework stuff is very much directed by your teacher in the first term and then the following three terms is that you generally will create one or two projects, you'll uh, be given some starting points and then you'll be taught how to explore them in your own way. Now the next few slides, um, you can see some examples of previous students work. I will admit some of it is a, is a level work, but it's really good examples of the kind of thing that we do both in, in, in GCSE and you will end up doing in A level if you go that far. So a lot of this is um, observational work and you can see from all of these slides is that we look at lots of different things like um, figurative work like portraits, like natural forms. We also explore different ideas, different concepts, and some of it is issue-based artwork as well. So there is no limit to what you can do within GCSE Art and Design. Now, um, we also do a little bit of three-dimensional work, like I said before, and here are some more examples of that. Now, GCSE photography, um, this is a relatively new subject and um, is very similar to art in the way that it's laid out, but obviously is done purely through digital terms. You, again, you'll explore lots of different ideas. You will look at different themes. You'll look at different photographers in the way that they have worked, and you will use that as an inspiration for developing your own way. We'll teach you how to use a camera, how to edit your photographs um, on the laptops and the computers, and um, you will then use that to create your own images. Now, what photography is not is snappy snaps of you and your mates um, pulling silly faces, etc. It's very much about recording the world around you, about what you see, what you think, and what you feel. We do some editing on the laptops, but we also do some manipulation of the images that you create after they've been printed out. Here you can see uh, two different sketchbooks and how different things are explored. As you can see on these ones, there is a little bit of written work that has to be done. That generally backs up the images that you've done. 
kind of where you're explaining what your ideas are and why you've done something in the way that you have. And here you go again. So lots of different things to explore, lots of different things to try out. What we do ask if you go for photography GCSE is that you have access to either a small digital camera and that can be as simple as a little point and shoot one, it doesn't need to be expensive, or you have access to the camera that you have on your phone because you will be expected to take quite a lot of your images outside of school because otherwise you will take photographs in school and that can only be taken so far. So you need to make sure that you've got access to that. We do have cameras in school that you can use as well. However, like I said, there's a lot of work to be done outside of class as well. So you do need access to that camera. If you're interested in either of these ones and you want a little bit more information, please come and ask me in your lesson times. Um, and if there's anything that I've gone over that you're not sure of, please also come and have a conversation with me and then I can clear up any doubts that you may have. And um, looking forward to seeing some of you in September. <laughs>